Okay. And then down here we're going to have rocks. So if possible, I want to make the mix even stronger. Not sure if I've achieved that, but I've tried. And um, I'm not sure I wanted these two shapes connecting, but maybe that's okay. Now, I want to do these rocks pretty quickly because I want to scrape out highlights in them. I've also got some rocks here. These will dry out very, very quickly. So I am really working hard now to get this done as quickly as possible. There we go. So this one is short and this one is longer. That's important. It, it, looks, it looks better. Um, aesthetics. And let's check. Yep. Yep. Perfect. The timing of this is so important. So I'm doing sometimes thin strokes and sometimes thick strokes. On the top, I tend to do a thick stroke like that and then down by the side, a thin stroke. Be careful you don't, you'll carry paint on your finger, so be careful you don't stick your finger above the rock and touch the paper, because you'll do that and mark it. A little isn't so bad, but just be careful. And, this is looking very good actually. Where the paper is wetter, like here, you might have to wait a little or just press down much more firmly. But if it is too wet, these marks will just disappear. And that means the paper, the paint is too wet. And if you don't get any mark whatsoever, it means you've missed it. <laughs> and you'll have to let it dry completely and then paint it again and try. So it, it takes practice. Okay, now I'm doing just reflections. So I'm just trying to suggest And uh, I've run out of paper here, so uh, so it's not so important here. I probably probably should have had this whole thing up higher. So I think I made a mistake here. Well, with the sky, the sky should have come down to about here, this cloud, and then this should have been higher and then this, and then this, and then I would have shown some of the reflections of this big island here. But um, I'll show my previous painting and you can have a look. And that one I think looks better. But I'm happy with this painting. It's a good painting. And maybe it's even a bit easier than the other one because you don't have to worry about reflections right in the foreground. But there, there we go, finished. I might just do a dry brush stroke across here. Shall we try it? So remember, it has to be quick. The mixture has to be fairly dry. And really, you should do it on rough paper first. Not rough paper, scrap paper. Oh, not bad. Now, if you go over it, be super careful. Yeah, and there we go. I think that worked a treat.
that that worked well and um, I might just do a little bit of playing around with this but you really have to be careful not to do too much of this it it, um, it becomes very um, fun and you can't stop and then you end up doing too much 